We're gonna show you the fastest and easiest way to restore your fiberglass door. Now let's take a look. And remember, you can DIY too. Does peel and stick backsplash come off? We used smart tiles, which are guaranteed to stick. It only takes three steps to cut, peel, and stick them on a smooth surface. And it's possible to have great results. There are many ways you can cut them. They're great for homes and apartments. The backing is easy to peel and they will stay stuck until you pull them off. Click the link in the description for the full video. Can you spray paint mailboxes? Yes, you can. First, go to the store, get Ultra Cover Black Semi-Gloss Spray Paint that bonds to wood, metal, or plastic. While you're there, pick up some new numbers. Clean and wipe your mailbox, cover the flag with painter's tape, and make sure you cover the back. Spray the side and the top. Spray the mailbox door and hook. Don't forget the other side. You can even spray the post. Put on the new numbers and check out our next video. Here's how you can glue peel and stick luxury vinyl tile. Go to the flooring aisle. Look for Robert's 7350 adhesive. It's ideal for luxury vinyl tile. Moisture control is great for applications in bathrooms and kitchens. You can use a paintbrush to apply it and make sure you wear gloves. See the entire DIY project in the link below. We're here to show you how to install a hinge pin door stop. Pick out your door hinge. Locate the old one. Remove it from the hinge pin. Place the pin in the new door stopper. Then into the hinge. Hammer the pin tip into the hinge. Remember that the flat side goes against the door and you're done. Okay, so today I'm going to change out this uh, twist and turn stopper with this pop-up stopper. And my kids are going to be very happy once we do this. Here's how we did it. How to install a dimmer switch for beginners. First, turn off power to the room at the electrical panel. This unit has a dimmer and switch. Remove the faceplate cover. Unscrew the light switch. Remove the traveler wires. And disconnect the copper ground wire. Strip the wire if needed. To install the dimmer, connect the green to the ground wire, black to the black wire, Red to the other black wire. Place the wires in the electrical box. Screw the dimmer to the box. Pull out and install the new faceplate cover. And we'll see you in the next video. We're gonna show you three ways how to cut peel and stick luxury vinyl tile.
Check out this transformation. Now we're gonna let it sit for about an hour before we hang the screen. Here's how I went from that to this. I turned off the shutoff valve and the main water source. Then I removed the water line hose, loosened the compression nut, removed the valve ring and compression nut, grabbed the new shutoff valve, installed the new compression nut and ring, placed the new shutoff valve on the pipe, screwed the compression nut to the valve, and tightened the compression nut with a wrench. And you're done. Here's how we removed peel and stick tile. How to waterproof peel and stick tiles. Waterproof your peel and stick tiles by adding grout or caulk. Adding caulk to corners and joints helps to seal the surface area. Both bathrooms and kitchens benefit from waterproofing your tile. You can grout tiles without spacers. Check out more peel and stick videos in the description. Remember, you can DIY too. We're gonna show you how we defrosted our small refrigerator. Look at what you can do with peel and stick luxury vinyl tile. I'm going to show you how to change the factory setting on your new Bosch dishwasher. The reason why you want to change the setting is so that the dishwasher will turn off one minute after the cycle. Step 1. Press the on and off button. Step 2. Press the right arrow button and the start button at the same time. 
Step 3. Press the right arrow until you see P01. Step 4. Press Start to save. Step 5. Press the on and off button and now it will turn off one minute after cycle. How to install peel and stick tile in five easy steps. Prepping your surface is very important. Make sure it's free of debris and smooth. Laying out your tiles allows you to check your design before you begin. A good layout will give you a center point and an idea of how many cuts your project will need. Installing peel and stick is beginner friendly and budget friendly. Slowly peel off the backing and place it on the floor. The most important tool you need for this home improvement DIY is a box cutter with sharp blades. A 100 pound roller levels out the tiles and evenly distributes the adhesive to activate a strong bond with the floor. If you prefer, you also have the option to grout some peel and stick tiles. Now you can enjoy the durability and style of your new peel and stick floor. DIY Power Couple YouTube channel is your source to help you unleash your inner DIY power.